The Dodge Challenger produced from 1970 to 1974 is a Mopar muscle car icon. Ask any Mopar guy. The 70 Challenger will usually be close to the top of his wish list. What makes them so popular? One reason is their great looks. Another is that they were designed to accept the big blocks right from the start. 446 pack cars and 426 Hemi Challengers built that legend. 170 Hemi Challenger, nicknamed the Black Ghost, was even inducted into the National Register of Historic Vehicles. Sales of the new Challenger prove that the styling of the original from 1970 was a real winner right from the start. There was a special Challenger made in 1970 called the Challenger TA. This is really just a race car produced for the street. Sam Posey drove the number 77 TA in Trans Am Racing and he finished fourth in points, although not actually winning any races. An interesting side note on the 70 Challenger and Barracuda was that they were the first to use injection molded plastic door panels. While they weren't received well at the time, it just so happens that they're an industry standard now. So they were trendsetters in another way too. Chrysler's drivetrains and suspension were always their strong point, and Challengers came with anything from the Slant 6 to the Hemi in 1970 and 1971. But by 1972, the big blocks were gone. The 340 was the top motor in the Challenger. While it made for a more balanced street car, the writing was on the wall for the muscle car. Insurance rates and the gas crisis at the time brought the muscle car era to an end. 1974 was the last year that the Challenger was produced.